Hi! Today as usual we have another new plastic kit and this time we're gonna check uh, MiG-15 UT from Edward. Uh, this is let's say a well-known kit which is modded in 170 second scale and now Edward released this trainer version in Profi Pack edition. So as you can see we have this nice small box here you can see comparison with my hand it's not that big and on the side we have uh, five marking options shown that are included into this kit and on the other side there is some basic information about the kit that model will be assembled from 62 parts and of course as a profi pack uh, inside you can expect uh, P parts, masks and some other extra goodies so this is top opening box quite sturdy as you can see so everything arrived intact and we have um, three grey plastic sprues and one transparent uh, so let's check them one by one uh, I'm gonna post build article very soon so you would see how this model assembles but I have I can say it in advance that this model is quite easy to assemble so you won't have any major difficulties with a small jet aircraft so uh, here we have transparent sprue as you can see there are plenty of let's say see-through parts and of course canopy is divided into several parts so you would be able to open it and show assembled cockpit moreover here it uh, it is more important it's even more important because we have P parts included so cockpit should be quite detailed next we have two plastic sprues packed into the same bag first contains uh, various cockpit parts here you can see a cockpit wall which also serves as a uh, air intake let's say middle part uh, we have landing gear doors, we have landing gear uh, wheel rims, landing gear legs. Also we have here another uh, cockpit elements, nose landing gear wheel which is molded together with a strut. Uh, also we have here dashboard, pilot seats which will be assembled from several parts and cockpit floor here. So quite a nice molding quality and I don't see anything to complain about here and as I said before uh, assembly is quite easy you won't have any major difficulties uh, so building process should be quite fast uh, Here is another sprue this time we have uh, wing parts as you can see we have recess panel lines and riveting uh, parts division is typical so we have top and bottom halves for each wing and uh, I have to say that it's quite easy to fix the swings without a glue on the model so uh, sometimes some modelers leave it like this without gluing wings to the model so that they can disassemble it. Uh, moreover here you can see that we have minor wheel wells detailization which is more than enough for this uh, scale, don't forget that it's 70 second scale and of course it will benefit from careful painting and washing done. Last but not the least is a sprue with fuselage house. Here is a uh, absolutely new because this is a twin seater and before uh, Edward was producing only single seater version so here you can see the fuselage half which is molded together with the tail fin as you can see but still we have separately molded rudder moreover here you can see appreciate the, all this detailization with recessed panel lights and rivets on the fuselage here is another half those parts would be used for the uh, engine exhaust tube and of course we have several types of the uh, external tanks and there will be available resin tanks also uh, which were featured in the Royal Pack with OT version. Next we have a small bag with P parts here you can see them. So we have some parts for the cockpit. I would say that like 95% of these parts would go onto the cockpit so it should be quite detailed for such small aircraft. Uh, then we have masks. Uh, 
I really appreciate this inclusion because MiG-15 has a uh, complex canopy shape and it can be quite difficult to mask all those, uh, let's say, complex forms. Next we have two decal sheets and here we can see quite unusual addition because we have here stencils. Stencils for the MiG-15 in 172nd scale so you can expect uh, the model to be even more realistic. And as you can see we have here Czech and Russian stencils provided so I'm sure that you will have one set left after application of another on the model. Uh, both decal sheets are printed in Edward. Nevertheless, printing quality is absolutely excellent. So here we have the main sheet, which contains all necessary symbols and decals for the dashboards. And I have to say that it's really nice product and I hope that application won't be difficult either. And of course we have uh, assembly menu which is typical for all profi packs so we have small brochure on glossy paper printed in color with short history note on the first page then comes uh, parts map and then assembly process starts it's a typical Edward uh, schematic view of the assembly process so I doubt that you will have uh, any difficulties with assembly also we have here a masks application guide uh, again assembly and here you can see marking guides for all five marking options featured in this kit and why I am a bit surprised because we have stencils but I don't see any guide which will should show us how to apply stencils so I'm not sure about the stencils maybe there would be used some of those but still painting guides are very nice and as you can see colors are given in Gunzi numbers as usual for Edward so that's all for today uh, don't forget to check full review article on our website and as usual I would like to advise you to subscribe to our YouTube group and YouTube channel let's say and also Facebook group like it and we would appreciate it thank you for watching once again and see you soon